All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you from uh, Mikasa Koen, or Mikasa Park, from uh, lovely Yokosuka, Japan. And today, I'm gonna give you a tour of the uh, park's namesake, the Japanese battleship, the Mikasa. And uh, the Mikasa was played in a very important role in the uh, fight against Russia, when uh, Japan was battling Russia. So uh, it holds a very, uh, very dear spot here, especially uh, in Yokosuka, which is a, uh, a naval town. And uh, it's actually a, a one-of-a-kind battleship. Uh, Japan never uh, made a, another battleship class, or another ship in this uh, battleship class. So it's another interesting one-of-a-kind ship that's been turned into a museum. So, without further ado, stay tuned for the tour of Japanese battleship Mikasa. Stay tuned. Okay, so, let's look around. And of course, once again, I'm rocking the uh, the wide-angle lens here, so things look a little, a little funky. That's why. Oh. Well, we'll go down there later. I just want to put around the main deck here. This is pretty cool. Here's some lookout towers over there. Here's one of the uh, Italian cannons. Here. Uniforms for the kids. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's so cool. And they do like little photo shoots and stuff like that. Awesome. That's cool. And check it out. Little hammocks that I guess the uh, sailors slept on back in the day. <laughs> nice. There's another, another small arm. Right here, a little cannon. Just some more down this way. And over here is uh, one of the main stacks here. Just to give you a whole uh, thing on the Mikasa here. But uh, I'm not going to stick around for the whole thing. <laughs> so, got to keep on looking around. Here's a closer view of it, I guess. We get to learn more about the Japanese battleship Mikasa. All kinds of cool stuff. And we're gonna go up here in a second. I just wanna circle around. Oh, here's another big ass freaking cannon. Is mahusive. This thing is way be bigger than the fucking Mark 45 that we have. Look at this thing. It's and it's also been capped off too. If you can see that. That's just awesome. <laughs> And you get to overlook the park, which is currently going through uh, some kind of a festival too, so there's the anchor to come out of. There's the Japanese flag. <laughs> Pay me like one of your... Hold on. Pay me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Let's go around this side. You can do it uh starboard side here. Yeah. 
like I said before, there's a festival going on out here. So, um, if you guys seen my uh, previous video on the Yokosuka Festival, uh, check it out. I'll put a link down below if I uh, remember to. If I don't, uh, feel free to let me know, because I can get pretty lazy about these kinds of things. So, uh, yeah. Ah, I guess that's a bathroom. Oh, that's cool. They got like a Western and a Japanese style toilet. You guys seen that? Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Peeking in here. Oh, sweet. And this is where the, uh, I guess they're where the gunners made slept. They're firing, so they got like a little gun, little hammocks and stuff, and then you can just crank it and just. Pew, pew. That's pretty cool. And then here's more, uh, more cannonry and whatnot. And, uh, huh. I don't think they had this on the original Mikasa. They're so spoiled, these Japanese tailors. <laughs> Tell you what. Alright. Well, enough of this nonsense. Let's go up. Oh, that's cool. Wheel. Oh, and you can actually get the moving, too. Check it out. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. All right. Now we're on the O2 level, I guess. So here are the uh, the smaller boats. The, I guess these are escape boats or maybe like small little tactical boats for uh, when they hit port and stuff like that. And right, now we're up on the O3 level. To more our, uh, more of their arsenal. And the bridge up here is armored, according to this. So, this room is armored and surrounded with steel planks of 35 centimeter thickness to minimize the damage by shell blasts and to maintain combat capability. The compass, steering wheel, speed, telegraph, and so on were installed in this room. Interesting. Let's go inside. So you can't actually go inside, but I can show you around. So this is basically the bridge of the Mikasa. So they had navigational equipment, steering equipment, and things of that nature. And it was the same way people can just like destroy this easily. At least in theory, anyway. That's pretty right, cool. There's more, more cans and whatnot. Yeah. These are, I guess, the bridge wings. Little stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go even further up. So these are the different stacks and stuff for the, uh, the engines, the exhaust and whatnot. So let's go up the stairs here. Oh, one way, please. Oh, one way, come on, come on, come on. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. This way, this way. I think. Uh, I guess that was one way, so, whoops. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty. Didn't see the sign. Pulling out my gaijin card in full effect here, guys. So, there you go. All right, so this is the chart room. This is where all the QMs, quartermasters, and whatnot. They're the navigational planning, and uh, there's the different uh, flags and stuff like that. So, you know, if you're a, you're a QM, you can get your uh, your QM on in here. Chart room. All right, and this is interesting. This is actually on rails. And this appears to be, oh, signal lights. That's cool. So you can slide these wherever you want and do like this little system right here so you can flash lights and stuff like that to communicate with other ships and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. And here is start. There's another navigational room. Actually, this is the same one, I think. It looks, looks like the, oh. I see, sorry, it took me a second. The other one we saw was the armored version of the bridge, and this is, I guess, the main bridge. So the armored bridge is like a backup. So just in case this area got like blown off, 
They can go downstairs, the armor bridge. They have the same stuff. Cool. Alright, let's... So this looks pretty cool. Now we're going up to, I believe we're... This will be the 06 level, I think. I, I kind of lost count. So, we'll go up to the uh, oh, <laughs> we'll go up to the apex here of the uh, Japanese battleship Mikasa. So, there you go. These are the uh, sound powered telephones. <laughs> Old school version. Can you hear me? I guess not. <laughs> And I guess that's how they would uh, communicate with each other, like from the bridge to up here for uh, topside watch standards and stuff like that. So they have a navigational compass right in here, as you can see. That's what they would use to communicate with the bridge downstairs. Then you have uh, telescopic lenses here. Well, I'm on the other side of the pit, actually. Let's uh, do it right this way. So basically you'd have your topside watch stander go in through here, look out here. Turn around, then you have the compass right there, and then you'll be able to communicate down the bridge through those sound powered telephones. Which are the old school sound powered telephones. And then, of course, you go aloft to the mast, but I don't think we're allowed up there. So, yeah, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I went all the way aft, and uh, I was gonna look at uh, some interesting things here. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, so I'm assuming so this is the uh, the captain's cabin where he would uh, do stuff and things. That's pretty interesting. The cabin all by himself. I don't know where he'd sleep, but uh, this is like his little office area, I believe. So, and this is all the way back aft. You can tell because for Japanese ships, uh, when you go up to the forecastle, which is the foremost part of the ship, you see the typical Japan flag if you go all the way back to where uh, more commonly you see the flight deck because <laughs> the Mikasa wasn't around when the flight was around. Uh, you'll see the Japanese rising sun flag right there. So that's just a good way to tell, see which areas uh, forward and which areas are aft for uh, ships. So just a little bit of a naval trivia there for you guys. And uh, just like with uh, the, uh, the, folk, the forward area, you have uh, navigation lights up here that you can uh, turn through tracks. These tracks have been covered up, but on the other side, they have them. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And uh, of course, the festival is still going on pretty strong. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. And uh, in the next little bit here, uh, for the next little part of the uh, Omake, uh, here, let's, let's go up here first. I better ready to close it out, then it's almost pretty cool. So here's some more uh, navigational bits and bubbles and things like that, so you can see a uh, much better conditioned compass. So they, can, they still have navigational tools and stuff even back here as well. And of course you have rungs so you can go all the way aloft, way up there. <laughs> way up there. And you got a Zulu flag hanging right there. That's pretty cool. All right, so like I was saying, in the next little bit of the omake, I'm gonna go down into the ship and uh, show you the ship from the inside. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go down to the bowels of the ship. Dun, dun, dun. All right, cool. Got some uh, little history and stuff like that. Oh, this was this looks like the ship out in Yokohama a little bit. That's cool. It's more on the history of uh, Mikasa. Getting some Mikasa shirts and stuff in there to pick up. A little bit. That's pretty cool. I definitely gotta pick up one of these too. Mm. Uh, God, there's so much cool stuff here. Oh, Alright, this might be a, a separate video on all in its own rather than uh, Omake, but uh, yeah. Yeah. 
some pipes going up. Here's some more uh, Monte Mikasa there. Here's the HMS Victory. That's cool. And here's the USS Constitution. That's cool. That's cool looking. Admiral Togo, which is the uh, commander of uh, the uh, Mikasa. JPJ, Apple Jones. I guess this is the route that they take. That's pretty cool. Crazy. They gotta, you gotta be careful with how you push things on an angle. These are just different logs, I guess. Green Casa. Okay. This is just representation of uh, how they were firing stuff. So you got. Japanese sailors and then guy in charge. Telling you how to do things. Booze. That's pretty cool. There's like a, like a theater in the back there too. Neat. Metals. All kinds of cool stuff here. Oh, man. Oh, this cool stuff. Yeah, cool. That's cool. This is Lexington. Admiral Togo's address. Honest missile of the combined fleet. Cool. This reminds me a lot of the uh, the Ferry Museum. Except very similarly. This is gonna be like a super duper long video, but I know you guys are gonna like it. Very educational. Cool. All right. Let's see, there's some of the different uh, medals and stuff awarded here on board the Mikasa. That's cool. Each portrait. Uh, 
tattered clothes and stuff like that in the day. It's pretty crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I guess we're near the end. Here's the different uh, uniforms that uh, Japanese Armada would wear. It's pretty, pretty bomb, man. <laughs> His shoes. He could shine them better. Just saying. That's <laughs> cool. Sales wear on their, their covers. Because this is the Japanese seal, so this is often put on the uh, Japanese ships and stuff. There's navigational equipment and things of that nature. The bell. Bullet hole left in the superstructure of the battleship Mikasa. It's pretty violent. So much stuff to see here. It's, it's insane, man. Here's all the different uh, different ships of the uh, the Japanese the fleet, ranging from your super carriers to destroyers, frigates, cruisers, things like that. Oh, and medical ships too. That's pretty cool, huh? This is just a set of routes and stuff. It's Japanese seal again. That's used on a lot of imperial documents and things like that. This is more stuff from the other side. And some more uh, lookout here. Oh, things like that. Pocket watch. Uh, chronometer. Pocket watch. <laughs> so, it's just a fancy word for pocket watch. Well, even though it doesn't fit in your pocket. Damn. Cool. Wow. Pretty cool looking, huh? Medals again. Yeah. Like that. And the layout of the ship as well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so as soon as I just put everything away, I ended up uh, accidentally discovering this room, which is the, uh, the Admiral's stateroom. So this is where Admiral uh, Hugo uh, did all of his cool stuff. So yeah, enjoyed the uh, super duper excited. <laughs> Omake. Stay tuned. So yeah, this is uh, Admiral Togo's uh, cabin where he did all his cool work. Some pictures of him and stuff. Awesome. This is the Emperor of Meiji. It's pretty cool. And this is where he did all the office work. Yeah, like a fireplace. So that's how Admiral Togo lives. He rolls deep. And he can also shoot from his own cabin. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, man. Shoot. And uh, this table and stuff. And, uh, I thought this is the uh, this is the wardroom pantry. The officers and stuff. So this is this is Oak Country basically for uh, Mikasa. This is uh, Captain Saloon. This is where he would eat and do all sorts of 
things of that nature. And uh, she thought the uh, heads and stuff were bad. Uh, another ships. This is what they had back in the day. A little tiny squatty body. Hi, <laughs> Now. And this is the uh, Chief of Steps sleeping cabin. Ironically, it has instruments and things like that. So you have different uh, military uniforms. It's pretty cool. And you got the different instruments and stuff like that for the uh, ship's band. And different music and stuff that they studied. There's conductor wands and things like that. And over here is more, uh, this is the Admiral's head right here, so he got a, he got a nice head all to himself, it's about the same as the other officer heads, but he, all for him. <laughs> uh, engineer of the fleet's cabin, so this is, would be Chang's cabin, or Chief Engineer's cabin. Dang. Chang's got the hook up, yo. <laughs> Before just a just a skosh. Then you have the uh, admiral's sleeping cabin. So rather than having everything all concentric and every, or not concentric, but like all together, they just have them in like separate rooms and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So this is where the admiral would sleep. Moving on further into, into uh, O Country. At the Chief of Staff Saloon. This is where he would eat and entertain guests and stuff like that. This is staff officer's room, so this is like uh, basically the wardroom, I guess. A lot, a lot smaller than the wardroom on, uh, on our show. This is uh, Flag Lieutenant Aid's room, so I'm guessing this would be First Lieutenant's room. And then Exo's cabin, right here. So the executive officer. So this also has a cool little like holographic almost picture of uh, the Mikasa there. Uh, I don't know if you can catch it on the camera. It's kind of that weird shifty optical illusion thing. Pretty cool. Uh, the engine. Just how the engine and plant and stuff like that worked. Going further ahead, you have uh, Chief Navigators, or uh, just Nav, his cabin. Right here. This is more on the Russian end of things, if you notice. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> Here's some white knights and stuff like that. Oh, that's cool. It's painted. Painting of the uh, console. Do -do -do -do. And we're back out here again. <laughs> cool. Cool. So, yeah. This is Lian San, signing off once again, for real this time, within uh, the Japanese battleship Mikasa at Mikasa Koen in uh, lovely Yokosuka, Japan. Thanking you guys uh, once again for tuning into this video, uh, all the omake, all the bonus stuff, and uh, my other stuff. I also want to thank you guys for liking, with the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.